Hello everyone and welcome back to the third race rundown on the channel of five races. I know I missed Auto Club and Las Vegas. Um, I was a bit busy during those ones, um, so I couldn't exactly make a full-fledged video on them. But I caught glimpses of Phoenix and watched the recap on YouTube, so I feel like I have a pretty good knowledge of what happened this weekend. And I wanted to make a video because, oh boy, <laughs> the top three this week. Um, holy crap. Um, we'll get into that in a minute. But, uh, first I want to get into the nitty gritty, talk about what happened during the race. And, uh, first of all, Corey Lazoy lost a tire. Never fun when somebody loses a tire. Although his tire breakage looked a bit like, uh, Justin Haley's tire breakage earlier at Daytona. Rather than, you know, like something like Kaz Grolla where the whole tires just came off. It looked like something broke in addition to it not being tightened on enough. Um, that being said, unfortunate ending to the day for the number seven Spire Motorsports team. Um, unfortunate that they went out that early in the race. Um, now, stage winners real quick because nothing too eventful happened in between then and stage three. Um, William Byron, stage one. Ryan Blaney, stage two. Pretty nice set of winners there uh, for the stages. Although, William Byron, as far as I know, didn't lead very many laps. Um, so I think he got that win via strategy. Correct me if I'm wrong. Like I said, I only saw highlights of it and only saw, like, the final lap or so of the stage. Um, and Ryan Blaney. Ryan Blaney was pretty good all race long, it looked like. Um, so him winning stage two isn't very surprising. Um, and now we get into more nitty-gritty with Shurex hitting the wall. Uh, looks like he had a tire go down or something. Um... Rough ending to the day for the 19 team, and likewise, later on with the number 5 team, breaking a valve uh, spring, which uh, put an end to Larson's day. Larson's had a very up and down beginning to the year so far. He's won a race this year, but he's also had some misfortune at some of the other races. So hopefully, things even out for the 5 team as things go on. Uh, Eric Jones had another late race caution occur, as is usual with the 43. It seems like this year they're kind of hit or miss. They either have a caution happen in their regard, or they nearly win the race. Um, and there's no real in-between yet, which I'm sure there will be as the year goes on. Um, finally, Chase Elliott spun. I don't have him here, but uh, Chase Elliott spun near the end of the race, which brought out a late race restart caution, or caution and a restart, which led to the craziest top three I have seen in recent memory. Saints Briscoe winning the race, getting the 200th, or er, being the 200th different driver to win a NASCAR Cup Series race. Ross Sastain coming home second, and Tyler Reddick coming home third. Three guys who had not won a race prior to Phoenix, all up in the mix and battling for the win. <laughs> Give me more of that. Give me more guys who haven't won very much, battling up front for the win like that. Because that was beautiful. <sighs> so, that being said, of course, Stuart Haas Racing, the number one team that impressed me today. The 14 car is back in victory lane! The 14 car! It's been ages since it's been there. I think since 2019 with Clint Boyer. I know the last win was with Clint Boyer, but it might have been 2019 or 2018, either one. Um, Either way, awesome to see the 14 back in victory lane for the first time since Clint Boyer drove it. Um... Chase Briscoe finally getting a win in the Cup Series. I knew he would have it in him. It's just last year. Stuart Haas had kind of a down year. And this year they didn't look to be getting off on the right foot so far, but this year they certainly did. Um, it looked like all the Stuart Haas Fords were pretty strong to in at Phoenix with um, Briscoe and Harvick bringing you home top 10s. Amarola qualified strong, finished 12th, and Cole Custer, he existed as usual. Um, another team that impressed was no doubt Trackhouse Racing, coming up runner-up with Ross Chastain, but also having their other car, the 99 of Daniel Suarez, finishing 9th. Both cars finishing in the top 10, that's huge for a team like that. Trackhouse Racing, on the right track, no pun intended. Um, finally, RCR, I want to touch upon as well. Because, you know, Tyler Reddick, the uh, the dude, got a top three. And he was up front all race long, it seemed like. So, again, props. Austin Dillon, 
was also doing pretty good until he had a, something go wrong. I think he hit the wall or something. Um, so RCR off to the right foot as well. All three teams that got in the top three doing good so far. Um, now, of course, with that being said, there were some teams that didn't impress me, and those are Hendrick and, uh, JTG. Now, Hendrick is here simply because of Larson's valve spring failure. Because other than that, Hendrick had a fairly respectable run today. William Byron winning stage one. Um, Chase Elliott rebounding from a spin to finish 11th. Alex Bowman coming on 14th. Uh, and, yeah. Uh, the only reason they're here is because of Larson's uh, valve spring failure. So, hopefully, they will not be here next week. Another team that didn't impress was uh, ZTG Daughtry Racing. Um, I'm a big fan of Stenhouse, and I was enjoying seeing his uh, good start to the year 28th at Phoenix. What happened, guys? Come on. <sighs> oh, well. I mean, at least he didn't finish behind the Rick Ware cars. Which, well, they're not as bad as last year. Rick Ware still isn't, you know, mid-pack. Um, Rick Ware is still Rick Ware racing, as much as I hate to admit it. But, hopefully they rebound next week and Ricky gets a top 10. That would be nice. Um, that being said, I think that's all I gotta talk about about this race. Not as much to talk about, no flips, you know, nothing eventful. It wasn't the first race at Phoenix, far from it. So, not as much to talk about, but Chase Briscoe, first career win, 200th Cup Series winner. That's incredible. And that is where I'll leave it off. Let me know your thoughts down below on Chase Briscoe's win and the top three as a whole and just everything that happened in the race. Um, I'd love to hear from you guys down there in the comments below. Um, That being said, I will catch you all next week, hopefully, for the next race. Bye!